If I did this for outside validation, I would have quit a long time ago. <laughs> Got any wise for, I don't know, it's for the child and everybody. Because everyone needs to come back to their roots and like that's what I'm trying to set up. It's a bridge for people and their own culture and their language. Basically what I started off with was doing that, the graphic design stuff. Prints, I think, was the next thing I started with. And then after that it was stickers. Just because those are super easy and I wanted something so that anyone that came to my table, doesn't matter how much money you have, if you loved the giant art print and you couldn't afford that, it was like, oh, there's a smaller postcard. And like, if they still really love the artwork and then here you go, there's a small sticker. It seems sort of random if you don't understand what my core directive is and like bringing the language and culture to everyone into the house and like that's the thing too is when you're thinking about doing a curriculum that's a Mohawk immersion right okay so they have all this stuff at school and then when they get home nothing else reflects that it's the simple things like again you can just go up to Walmart and you can get you can choose between like five different mats to say hi hello welcome come in you know you get all these options you get all these and we don't even have one so it's when I realized that and I was thinking about how do we get going to get help back into the house and that's what I thought, like the first thing you see when you come into the door, Sago. What I was noticing a lot is because of the way people are raised, there are some families that kind of veered away from traditional culture, language, and that their children want to come back, but they don't know how. They don't have anyone around them because they grew up in that situation, so all of their friends maybe aren't as traditional either, so they don't have that pathway. And I felt like I was in a similar situation where I felt disconnected. And this whole thing is kind of my journey back to that because I used to be fluent and I used to go to Long House and I used to be a lot more connected and I kind of lost myself for a little bit and this is me exploring my culture again through kind of new eyes. It's like take two, right? But because of all the things I've been learning for myself, I want that accessible to everyone else that wants it. My daughter, she's really good at this stuff. And that's where I pulled my color scheme from. Because I am absolutely terrible at picking colors. It's like, look at how crazy her stuff is. Like, I love her, what is that? I guess it's like expressionism or something. I have a mission, I have a goal. So anything that takes me closer to that is good. Anything that takes me away is like, I don't like it. So I have to do whatever I can to make that happen. You know, like, how do I make their world a better place?